Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to another game of Spirit Island. Today we're playing as Sharp Fangs Behind the Leaves and we're going up against Kingdom of Scotland level 2. Sharp Fangs is a lot of fun to play, uh, so hopefully this playthrough can give uh, showcases how much fun he is to, to actually play and, and uh, defeat adversaries with. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, for my first growth option, I think I'm going to choose G2. Uh, so place this presence in land number two in the jungle. Um, and also G4, gain three energy. And plus the one from the presence trap. Um, and for my two card place, I'm going to play Prey on the Builders and two near the jungle. Uh, so pay one, one cost for that. Um, and so immediately uh, I'm going to activate Ranging Hunt, the first and the third level for my two beasts uh, or two animal tags. Uh, and I'm going to gather one beast in here and push one beast in there. And using his special rule, uh, Alley of the Beasts, I'm going to move my presence with it. Um, then... So that's that uh, ranging hunt complete. Uh, then I'm going to use prey on the builders to gather one beast targeting this land. If the target land has beasts, invaders do not build there this turn. So the invaders won't be building in the land number three wetlands, which they explored into uh, as their first explore option. And that's my fast powers phase done. Uh, so moving on to the invader phase then, where healthy island events, nothing triggers. Um, and then we move on to the build so they're building in the wetlands so that gets a town and that does not build because of the prey on the builders and then our devil what the explore card is into the sand so we're exploring into sands and because of the level one special rule um, for the adversary of Scotland Whenever they uh, explore in coastal lands, add one town instead of one explorer. Uh, coastal land invader cards, which are level two invader cards, do this for a maximum of two lands per board. So we're going to add a town in the sands in land number one. Uh, invader cards advance. Um, and then we move on to the slow power phase. Um, and my... Uh, yeah, my only slow power is too near the jungle. So I have been hoping to play that on um, a lone explorer, but because that got a town, I now can't do that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to target uh, land eight, which is one away from a, a jungle where I have presence. I generate one fear and destroy one explorer. Um, and that's the end of the slow power phase because I do not meet any requirements for frenzied assault um, so we discard these cards um, clean up this token here and one point to note is I could have used prey on the builders here but because there's the Dahan in this land whenever this ravage is net, uh, on turn 2 this is going to take out the the, uh, the explorer there so that's just that's the reason for using prey on the builders in land number three instead of seven. So moving on to turn two then. Um, again, I think I'm going to go G two, uh, and I'm going to place that into land number seven, which I can because it has a beast, um, and I'm immediately going to convert that using call forth the predators into another beast. Um, and then I'm also going to take up, uh, growth three, uh, gaining one energy, and I'm going to go for a major power. Um, and for that, I have the choice of utter a curse of dread and bone. Um, th this has pretty good elements for uh, for fangs, so that's definitely a, a consideration. Um, weave together the fabric of place. Uh, it doesn't have plant or animal, which I'm kind of looking for, um, given that Fangs' innate powers are pretty strong. 
um, so that's less appealing. Dissolve the bonds of kinship, uh, that has an animal, and a fire, which is good for frenzied assault. Bang's the second in it, uh, so that's definitely, uh, along with the first uh, utter curse of Dread and Bow, and that's, that's definitely one to consider. And then this uh, death falls gently from open blossoms. Um, it does have a moon uh, and a plant, so both for um, innate one and two, um, but it doesn't have the animal, and it's a slow power. Um, so I think I think the choice is, is probably going to be between uh, these two, um, and I think given the current board situation, I'm going to choose dissolve the bonds of kinship. Um, so I'll discard them, and to do that, I'm going to forget uh, too near the jungle. Um, and so I gain one energy from the presence track, and I'm going to play dissolve the bonds of kinship using the four, and I'm going to play teeth gleam um, using the the remaining one. So they're both slow powers. I do have two plant and three animal tags, so I activate all of ranging hunt. Um, and I am going to use that in land number seven. So I'm going to gather into land number seven. There's nothing to gather. I do one damage per beast there. I destroy that town. That generates a fear. And then I'm going to push um, those two and bring my presence with it. Um, so that's ranging hunt complete. Um, then we don't have any more fast power so we move on to the invader phase um, we're still out the island the event card is sacred sites under threat um, so each sacred site pushes one explorer or town to an adjacent land um, and then remove one blight from or per player from the blight card returning it to the box or guard them yourself for well or ill three energy per land where you do damage in each land with a sacred site and invaders either do two damage or destroy one presence from each spirit hmm. um, well i don't have any sacred sites so i think i'm going to choose option two which means uh, i can't do two damage um, and I don't have to destroy any presence because it says in each land with a sacred site and invaders and I have none of them um, so that's okay we move on to the beast event beast prowl, each beast generates one fear if invaders are present and moves to an adjacent land if not I have three beast tokens in lands with invaders so I generate three fear that generates a fear card and one additional and then the last event, uh, each spirit with at least four Dahan among its lands gains a minor power. I do not have four Dahan among my lands, so I don't get to gain that minor power, unfortunately. Um, fear cards then. On each board, replace one town with one explorer. Ooh, that is very, very good for us. Um... I think I'm going to choose in land number one to replace this town with an explorer and there they will not be able to build a city there. They're building a town this turn. That's, that's very good. That was perhaps going to become a problem land next turn. So I'm glad to, to get that. Um, that worked out quite well for us. Uh, so moving on then ravaging in uh, wetlands, nothing there. Um, this, Injures the Dahan, the Dahan retaliate and take it out. Um, that's the end of the ravage action, uh, or the ravage step. Moving then to the build, uh, we're building in sand, so this gets a city and this gets a town. And then we are exploring into the first stage two card, sands again. That's not good. Um, okay, so we get an explorer here. And we're going to get a town here because of level one Scotland. And then uh, the escalation effect is on the single board with the most coastal town cities. Given we're true solo, that's, that's our board. 
add one tan to the n lines with the fewest tans. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to add a tan to this land. Um, okay. So the end of the invader phase then, we and that's the invader card. So we have a double sans, a, sans, a ravage in the sans, and then a build in the sans next turn. That could be problematic. Um, okay, so. Um, I think, um, I think I'm going to use dissolve the bonds of kinship, target a LAN number eight. Uh, so replace one city with two explorers. One, two. Replace one town with one explorer. And, and then replace one Dahan with one explorer. There are no Dahan there. Push all from the target land to as many different lands as possible. So I'm going to push that, 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 and that. Um, so that clears up that land for... Uh, the Ravage and the build next turn. So that worked out quite well. Um, we do not meet the threshold effect, unfortunately. Um, then we can, hmm, would it have been better? Um, okay, and then Teeth Gleam from Darkness. So one away from uh, a jungle where I have presence. Um, I can do one fear and add a beast. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'll generate the fear and then I'll add the beast in this land. Um, and then that finishes that power. We do uh, have the elements for the first level of Frenzy to salt. Or sorry, we don't. We're, we're missing one beast, unfortunately. So we can't, we can't do that. Uh, or sorry, one animal to tag. So we can't actually do that, unfortunately. Um, so that's the end of the, the slow power phase. Um, we time passes and the Dahan in their heels. Um, okay, so turn three then. Um, I have one card left. It's Terrifying Chase. Uh, I think I'm going to go uh, Growth Option 2 again from the Energy Truck. Uh, and I'm going to place it... Um, well, actually, I'll do that. I'll do growth option three first and see what power card I get. Uh, so I get one energy and I'm going to gain a minor power this turn. So one, two, three, four. Um, so here we have sap the strength of multitudes. This is a, this is actually quite a good power for land number one, which is ravaging this turn. Um, hmm. And it does have an animal tag. Um, could pair well with dissolve the bonds of kinship as well uh, for hitting the threshold because it has that water element um, so that could be and I could get a presence in there as well so that could be an option grow through sacrifice uh, another very strong card uh, destroy one of your presence and then you can either remove a blight or add one presence to one of your lands um, mm. That's also very appealing. Uh, renewing Boon, uh, choose a land where you and Target Spirit both have presence. Uh, in that land, remove one Blight, and Target Spirit may add one of their destroyed presence. That's also very appealing. Um, and then Favor of the Sun and Starlit Dark, defend four, push up to one Blight. If I have two Suns, one Fear. Um, these are all really quite appealing cards um, so we have the sands in one that's ravaging and building this turn if I don't defend it I lose all of the Dahan in there because with these cards I'm not going to be able to hit ranging hunt so um, or the damage portion of ranging hunt anyway I think I think because Fangs doesn't like Blight, uh, a lot of his powers uh, need lands, or two of his powers at least need lands that don't have Blight. Um, I'm, I'm going to choose this Favour of the Sun and Starlit Dark. 
Uh, number one, because it allows me to push blight. Uh, number two, it will defend non number one, barring any uh, event card um, increasing invader damage. Um, and it, I will also have two suns, so um, I will get one fear for that, uh, for hitting the threshold as well. To be honest, all four of these cards I could have made a pretty good case for. I also, uh, one, one more thing in favour of this is it has the plant tag. Um, I only have one other card because, with a plant tag at the moment because I forgot uh, too near the jungle. So I think I'll go with this. Uh, that was a, quite a difficult choice. Um, let me know if you would have chosen a different one. I'd be interested to hear. Um, okay, so that is that, uh, that growth option done. I'm going to put this into land number five, um, which will allow me to uh, have a sacred site within one to defend in land number one. Um, I'll get in the two energy from the presence track and use that to pay for these. Now I do hit... Um, first and third tier of ranging hunt but not the middle tier because i only have two animal tags um i do have two plant tags so i'm going to use favor of the sun and start at dark to defend four in land number one um that's attacking for five uh there's no uh, blight there to push and i have two suns so i generate another fear um, and that's all the fast powers completed. Um, move on to the invader step or the invader phase. Healthy island. The event card is no bravery without numbers. We are in stage two. Um, so invaders do not ravage in lands unless there are more invaders than the current terror level. The terror level is one. There's three invaders, so they are uh, going to ravage in. Uh, land number one, which is good for us. Um, in each board, in each land with beasts, one damage per beast. Um, okay, that's one damage there, and that will take out the explorer. This has worked out quite well uh, because that will now be clear, and there won't be anything in there to build on the next turn. Uh, leave the hostile land in each land. Push one dahan per. Badlands disease to lands without badlands or disease. So we have no badlands and there's no Dahan in the only land with disease, so that doesn't affect us. Um, no fear cards earned, so we move on to the ravage. Nothing to ravage in eight. This is defended for four, it's attacking for four, the Dahan retaliate for four, and so we destroy both of those towns, um, generating two fear, and that gets another fear card. Building in sands, nothing to build in eight, nothing to build in one. Um, and then we are exploring into the wetlands. Um, so we have another, well, there's no source for explorers in seven. Um, and because land number three is a coastal land, that's actually going to get another town, unfortunately. Uh, invader cards advance. Uh, oh, sorry, the escalation effect. Um, so we are adding a town in. Uh, we're gonna because that has the fewest towns. Uh, it's the coastal land with the fewest towns, so we have to add another town there. Um, okay. So that's the invader cards advanced, uh, and then I have terrifying chase. So push up to two explorers or. Or towns or Dahan push another two uh, per beast in target land. If you pushed any invaders to fear, so I think it's gonna make sense to. They're gonna build in the wetlands, so this is a range zero as well. Um, so I think it's gonna make the most sense to do to push these into I'm going to choose land number two because with ranging hunt um, it cannot be activated in a land
around with light. So I might want to use ranging hunt on those in the future. So I think that's that's probably the the best decision there. And because I push some invaders, I'm going to generate another two fear. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the slow powers. I don't need frenzy to sulk, so we discard these. Um, and this heals during the time passes, um, and that's that round over with. Okay, so um, for this turn, I'm going to reclaim cards. I'll pay one energy to do that. Um, and I'm going to gain a power card. Um, and for this... Hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to choose a minor um, for this. One, two, three, four. Um, so fire in the sky, two fear, add one strife. Um, that has a fire element, which could come in useful. Um, treacherous waterways, add one wiles or push one explorer. Uh, also could be useful with the fire element. Um, unquenchable flames, one fear, one damage to town cities. Invaders do not heal damage at the end of the turn. If you have two fire, add one Badlands, that has a moon and a fire, which is good for frenzied assault. And then swarming wasps add one beast, or if target land has beast, push up to two explorers. And that has a fire and an animal tag. Um, I think the sands are ravaging this turn, so I'm gonna have to. If I can defend that, I can also then use raging hunt to prevent that build if I play a card with a plant tag. And I don't want to play two plant tags this turn, which is all I have in my hand because then I won't have Raging Hunt next turn. Um, and there's none of these cards have plants. So I think what I'm going to take is Swarming Wasps, um, zero cost, which is good given my limited income. Um, and then for my second growth option, I'm going to place a presence. I'm going to place that um, there. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think I will. Okay. First, I'll take the two energy. Um, and now I'm going to play Swarming Wasps and Favour of the Sun and Starlit Dark. Um, I'll pay the one energy for them. So this, I have two plant tags and three animal tags, so I can use Ranging Hunt. Um, I'm going to target this land, which is one away from where I have presence. I'm going to gather... Uh, oh, no. Hmm. That's not going to work. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to reassess that. I'm, I'm not going to use Favour of the Sun and Starlit Dark. I'm going to use Teeth Gleam instead. Um, and I'm going to... So that's... Um, I meet all three levels of Raging Hunt. Um, and also uh, the first level of Frenzied Assault. Um, so what I'm going to do is use Ranging Hunt. Uh, I still place my presence. Hmm. Um, instead of placing my presence there, I'm going to place it there and immediately convert it into a beast token. Um, okay. Um, and then I play these cards. So uh, I'm going to use Ranging Hunt. Uh, I'm going to target this land. Um, I'm going to... Actually, sorry, reverse that. Um, instead of putting my presence in there, I'm still going to put it in there. Um, and as part of the growth options, I'm going to convert this into a beast token. Um, We'll see why in a minute. Um, okay. So um, I'm going to use Ranging Hunt to target this land. Gather uh, one beast. Each beast deals one damage. Which takes that out. 
generates another fear and another fear card. Um, and then I'm going to push these uh, in here. Yes. Um, and then, so that's ranging hunt done. Uh, swarming wasps, I am going to, I'm going to add a beast. Um, I think I'm going to add it in there. It's one away from where I have presence and it doesn't have a blight. Um, so that's the fast power phase over. Um, and then we are still healthy. We move on to the event card. It's urban development. During the next normal ravage, each city does plus two damage. Um, well, sand are ravaging this turn and there are no cities, so that doesn't apply. On each board, add one disease. Ignore disease during builds this invader phase. Okay, so... I'm going to add the disease. We have a level one card coming next. So I'll add it. Hmm. I'll add it in the mountains. Or actually, no, I'll add it in this mountains. Um, and then fierce men. One fear per land with invaders where to hand outnumber town cities. Um, and that is two lands. So one is greater than zero. And two is greater than zero. So that's two fear. So that's quite good. Um, still a terror level one. So the fear cards are defend two in all lands with presence. That doesn't, it's no use to us. Each player may choose a land with the Han or adjacent to at least five the Han. Invaders do not ravage there this turn. And that's also not useful. Okay, so the invader phase, uh, so we're ravaging in the sands, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, building in the wetlands, this gets a town, this doesn't get anything. And then we're exploring into the mountains. So uh, none of the mountains are on the coast. So the level one, um, they're just going to get the explorers. I'm glad I put that disease there. Um, invader cards advance. So we're ravaging in the wetlands next. And we move on to the slow power phase. So um, I can add one fear, or I can generate one fear and add a beast. Or if target land has both beasts and invaders, three fear. Um, to be one away from where I have it. Um, so if I add the beast there, I could do potentially four, five, five damage next turn. Um, I think I will, I think I'm going to generate a fear. Um, Add one beast to this land. It's one away from a jungle where I have presence. And then I'm going to use the first level of frenzy to solve one moon, one fire, and one, two, three, four beasts. Or, or animals, sorry. Um, I generate another fear. That gets a fear card. That should be terror level two. Um, apologies. Uh, and two damage um, so I'm going to target this land uh, take out those two and remove that beast token um, so that's the end of this slow power phase um, so we move these into the discard there is nothing to heal during time passes okay so uh, we move on to the next round then um, I think this time I'm going to choose growth option three and probably four. Um, but let's do three first so I gain one energy. And I'm going to go for a major. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, so here we have 
Talons of Lightning. Uh, that is a fire. That's a pretty good, pretty good card. Uh, three fear and five damage. And uh, more if you hit the threshold. Terrifying Nightmares, two fear, push up to four. Explorer's Town, if you have four moon, you get plus four fear. Uh, smothering Infestation. infestation. Um, add a disease if target land is jungle or wetlands, two fear and three damage. And Savage Transformation, two fear, replace one explorer with a beast. And then if you meet the threshold, replace one addi additional explorer with one beast in either target or adjacent land. Um, that's actually a very good card for fangs, given it has moon and animal, um, and we would likely meet that threshold quite a lot, or quite often. Um, I think I'm going to take tar Talons of Lightning. It will mean I won't activate all of Ranging Hunt this turn, but uh, it will take care of land number seven um, in the fast phase. So I think I'm going to take Talons of Lightning. Uh, and I'm going to forget. Hmm. Um, I think I'll forget Dissolve the Bonds of Kinship, which is the measure I got earlier. Uh, and I'm going to take the three energy growth option. Plus gain the two from the presence track. Um, so I'll exchange those three for a three uh, and I'm going to use six to pay for talons of lightning um, and then I'm going to use the remaining one to play terrifying chase okay so if we do talons of lightning first generate three fear straight away well I'm going to target this wetlands it's one away uh, Generate three fear and do five damage, so two, three, four. Uh, that generates another fear and a fear card. Um, and then in terms of my innates, I have three animals, but no, only one plant, so I activate level one and level three. Um, and for this, I'm going to target land number two and gather one beast and bring my presence with it um, and that is the end of that fast phase um, I suppose I could have um, in the in the growth phase I could have actually exchanged this for a beast token um, although I still wouldn't have been able no I'll leave it leave it as is um okay so that's the end of the fast phase uh we're still a healthy island we move on to the events um so on each board on each board in the land with the most towns replace two towns with two cities if there is only one town re instead replace it with one city hmm that's not good uh so this has the most towns so i replace two with two cities Um, okay, so beasts chase off homesteaders, push up to two explorers or one town from a land with beasts. Uh, there's none at the moment. Um, and then when invaders ravage, if the land has the Han, defend two. So that's not great. Um, fear cards then, move le terror level two. Each player removes one explorer or town from a coastal land. That doesn't help. Skip the next normal build. The build card remains in place instead of shifting left. Uh, okay. Um, so we move on then to the Ravage. Nothing in the wetlands. Uh, we're skipping the build and we're exploring into the coastal land. So because of Scotland level one, they're going to get two towns. Um, and I think I will put the Explorer in the wetlands and the towns in there. Um, yeah, let's do that. So we have no ravage next stage, or the next turn. Uh, so slow powers then. 
Um, terrifying chase is the only slow power I have. So push two times, or explorers times, or the hand, and then push another two per beast in target land. So the only one it would make sense to use this is here. So I'll push that explorer there. And if I push any, I generate two fear. Um, so that takes care of that. Um, time passes. Um, and we are left here. So we discard those cards. Okay, so um, for the next growth phase, I think I'm going to gain a power card and one energy. Um, so there's one energy, and I'm going to go for a minor this turn. Mm, so we have elusive ambush is one damage or defend four. That could be could be quite useful instead of that. Um, goals allure gather one, explore one town, add a strife, uh, quicken the earth struggles one damage to each town or city or defend ten. That could be very good actually, and for land number two. Um, and terror turns to madness if the terror level is one three fear if it's two two fear and add a strife or if it's three add one strife um, i think given the elements and the potential for difficulty in land number two i'm going to take quick in the earth struggles um, and so and then for my second option, I'm going to add a presence to land number two and immediately convert it into a beast. Um, and then for this, I will get three energy from the presence tracks. And I'm going to play Prey on the Builders and Quicken the Earth. Or, um, no, I'm going to play Favor of the Sun and Starlit Dark just for the... Uh, just for the plant. Okay. Um, so I have two plants and three animals, so I activate Ranging Hunt. Um, I'm going to target land number one. Uh, so there's one, there's nothing to gather. One, two, three, four, five. Five beasts. Uh, one damage per beast, so I'll take out a city and a town. Doing generating three fear and another fear card um, and then as the last part I'm going to push um, push one in here and move my presence with it and then I'm going to use prey on the builders uh, to gather um, I may gather one uh, beast and not um, invaders in target land do not build there this turn um and then for this i'm going to i'm going to target this land and i'm going to defend for four and push one blight in here um, and that's the end of the fast power phase um, so both of those are resolved i do not meet the threshold for frenzied assault um, we're still healthy events uh, we are at stage two uh, in the single land with the most invaders push one explorer town to an adjacent land so I'm going to push an explorer there um, beast prowl each beast generates one fear if invaders are present and moves to an adjacent land if not okay so one two three four invaders are present that's another fear card automatically uh, invaders are present there that's one more fear um, there's no invader invaders in this land so these are going to move to an adjacent land and for this I'm going to move them in here um, and then on each board push to the Han from a land with blight to a land without blight there are no Dahan in lands with blight uh, so that's fine Fear cards then, we're at terror level two, we have two. 
Each player may gather one explorer or town into a coastal land, defend two in all coastal lands. Hmm. Well, that's going to get destroyed by the Dahan. Uh, one explorer or town. So I think I'm going to gather this in here so we don't build a city there. Um, and then that's that. And then we move on to the next one. Each player adds one strife in a different land with at least two invaders. Then each invader takes one damage per strife it has. Uh, so I think here I'm going to add a strife to this. And then it, this invader, each invader takes one damage per stripe it has. It's the only invader with stripe, so that destroys that. Um, and that's the end of the fear cards. There's no ravage this turn. We're building in coastal lands, nothing to build there. The, there's still a disease here um, from the start of the game, so nothing to build there, and they don't build here. Uh, because of prey and the builders mountains uh, nothing the disease prevents the build here and nothing to build there um, and then we are exploring into jungles so there's a source there and one there and the escalation effect is we need to add a town to um, to the land with the fewest towns. So we can add this. Um, I think we'll add it there because that's I can defend that next turn. Uh, yeah, so invader cards advance. And we have no um, slow powers because I am one short of the animal type for Frenzy Assault, so those get discarded. Okay, so for the next turn, I think I'm gonna reclaim cards and pay one energy to do that. Um, I'm going to, I think, place another presence in that land, in land two. Uh, immediately convert that to a beast. Um, and then I'm going to play um, fear of the sun and starlit dark or sorry I get four four energy first one two three and four um, and I will also play quick in the earth oh well no teeth gleam um, so I hit all three levels of ranging hunt I'm going to target land two. I'm going to gather one beast and bring my presence with it. Each beast does one damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That takes out the three cities, which generates six fear. Uh, so that's two and another fear card. And we hit terror level three. So there are no cities left on the board. Uh, so that's a terror level three victory. Um, yeah, I hope you, you guys enjoyed that. Um, Fangs is a, a, a lot of fun to play. Um, I'm not sure like, if, if you if you haven't, or if you don't, if you haven't enjoyed him in the past, I hope this has kind of persuaded you that he can be quite a lot of fun to, to play. Um, I've been trying at the, the opening where you, you focus on the, the energy track, track rather than the plays track and going for an early major power. Um, I think that works quite well with him. Sometimes you can get very favorable ma major draws. Um, our first one I think was Dissolve the Bonds of Kinship, um, which was good. Uh, it had the, the animal element. There are more or there are better major power cards for fangs to draw um, or more useful ones often, but I think this worked well. Um, it allowed us to, I think, clear that land um, before Ravage, which gave us some breathing room. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, um, 
he's a lot of fun. I mean, the number of tokens you can get out on the board and then uh, sometimes like the events will be very positive for for you given the number of beasts you have on the board. I think we saw that in a couple of couple of instances where you know we generated quite a lot of fear um, because there was many many beasts in lands with invaders. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm not. I haven't played against Scotland an awful lot. Um, so I kept it at level two there, or difficulty four. Um, so maybe we can get another playthrough with fines or another spirit where uh, we increase the difficulty against Scotland um, and also try out some of the other adversaries as well to get to get playthroughs. Some are really fun. I, I like playing against Habsburg. Uh, Russia is quite unique as well. Um, so we'll get some of them playthroughs onto the onto the channel as well. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any comments or things you would have done differently, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, I think I'll call it a day here and wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.